you're going to get the raw Rochelle and the truth speaker Rochelle in this video. And what I feel I need to say is what I'm going to say. And please don't come and say, don't care what people say to you, etc., etc. Like I said, if I feel like I want to speak the truth on something, if I feel like, feel like I want to say something, I'm going to say it. People don't have to watch the videos, but this is who I am. And otherwise, it's going to go a little crazy in my mind. And I've already remade the video twice, but I didn't post it. I wasn't going to post anything. You know, and then I saw some comments today and I'm like, you know what, maybe people just don't get me. Maybe they don't get why I do certain things or why I say certain things or why I don't support some people. So maybe I should speak my truth on that and maybe explain it a little bit. So here we go. So I'm driving home for my mom's right now. I only go and see her maybe once a week and I see some comments on my YouTube and you know what? There's things that I need to address and things I've been holding in for a couple weeks. And guess what? I can't wait till I get home to record it. So here we go. Um, so first off, I want to say this channel and what I'm about is about truth and justice. Okay, that's what I fight for every single day when I'm doing readings. And you guys only see the parts that I put on video. You're not seeing the parts that I'm sitting for hours on maps or thinking about things, or trying to figure things out. What this channel is about is truth and justice. It literally says it on my backdrop, okay? So people do not have to agree with my opinions, that is fine. But what I don't understand is why people unsubscribe because I have opinions or I make a funny little video about a criminal. And let's just face it, Donald Trump is a criminal. This isn't political. This isn't if I like the guy. This isn't if I don't like the guy. This has nothing to do with that. Okay? Let's face the facts. If people really do their research into who this man is, and you guys all know, let me just say, I'm not a political person. I've never done a political reading except for, for Patreon because I'm afraid to release it because all you guys are going to fucking come at me for it. And that's, that's crap. Because it's my channel, I should be able to talk and voice my opinions and, and have a say. Because a lot of what I say is channeled. A lot of what I say is how I feel. And I think it's stupid that somebody that does not know anything about you, you do not know anything about him personally. He does not care about you. He's proven that time and time again. And most politics don't. You would really leave somebody that and unsubscribe from someone who is putting their heart into soul into finding missing people and is speaking a spirit whose spirit chooses to speak through to them. So that's, it, it's really concerning to me how narrow-minded and how brainwashed people need to, are, are these days because God gave me my gifts. I wouldn't be able to communicate to spirit the way that I do if I wasn't trusted by spirit, if I wasn't chosen by spirit, if I wasn't of the light. Does that make me still human? Yeah, that makes me still human. Yeah, that means I still get to have opinions. Yeah, that means I still to call things as I see them. I'm an Aquarius and I go my way. And if people don't like that, I don't know what to say. And sometimes I have to say shiz and get it out of my head because if I don't, it'll just rattle around them there, right? But I'm a true speaker. I, I'm an Aquarius. I'm a humanitarian. My moon is Libra. I'm about justice, okay? That is who I am to the core of my very being. And the reason why I decided to do this video while I'm driving is because I, I tend to get in a more meditative, thoughtful state while I'm driving. And I'm safe. Don't worry. I'm not holding my phone or anything. It's not any different than talking on a phone to somebody. But my whole being and who I am is about truth and justice. That's, that's who I am. So if people really expect me to think highly or respect someone that has been accused in civil court of sexual assault and has been on the Epstein logs seven times, and yes, they have, there's receipts. You know, all you got to do is do your freaking research. I'm not making stuff up, I've done my research, then you've got another thing coming. Because if it was any other sexual assaultist, not Trump, no one would give a damn. 
no one would give a damn if I if I took another person that we were doing a case on that had uh, sexual assaulted someone and, and put a stupid rat next to him and, and laughed about it would they care no I'm sorry but Trump doesn't de deserve my respect and I don't know why he deserves a lot of other people's respect he only cares about himself if anybody's seen a malignant narcissist that's him and I don't care if you like what I have to say about it or not because it's the truth and sometimes the truth hurts. People need to open their eyes and get unprogrammed. They need to deprogram themselves. They've been brainwashed. All you have to do is do a little bit of digging. And that doesn't mean that I'm for Harris, but she's clearly the better choice from someone who isn't even going to make it to election, probably, because they're going to court in September. Um, and, and his astrology chart doesn't look good. And let me tell you, for, for two years, I've been getting him crossed out. I've been seeing him in orange, and there's he's not healthy, okay? I even literally said in one of my, um, or in the, in the Patreon reading, you know, I hope he doesn't stress out and, you know, go from a heart attack because he's stressing himself out over everything because he's losing because that's how he, he is. He cannot lose. He is that type of person that cannot lose. He tried to steal the election before. He's trying to do it again. I mean, there's all of a sudden there's hacks. You know, people think that people of power aren't, aren't, they can't cover things up. They can try to, yes. But, I mean, he bankrupted a casino. Um, he, he, he took a lot of money from students from his school. He has 32 counts of fraud. And, and tell, let me tell you, when you go to court, you need proof. It's not like someone is railroaded and makes a bunch of stuff up, and it's not like only he's only done one thing. This is multiple things that he's done. And we look at the hush money case. You know, he was trying to get her to fix the apprenticeship or whatever it was, and she went there to talk to him about it, and he sexually assaulted her, allegedly. So I'm sorry if people think that I'm showing my true colors because I put a little rat next to Donald Trump. Okay, I thought it was freaking hilarious because the guy is ridiculous. He said that no one died at the riots or passed away at the riots, at his riots, which he bragged about having a huge crowd at. Five people lost their lives at that riot. He knows so much. He cares so much. He doesn't even know that five people passed away. He's got dementia or something. Some of the stuff that he talks about is extremely exaggerated. And he has no empathy, no compassion. This world needs empathy and compassion. It's all me, 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 my crowd sides, me, me, me. I won, me, me, me. That's who he is. Do we want a leader like that? He had his chance four years ago. And guess what? If you look at the numbers, his and Biden's aren't that, are, aren't that much difference. Biden made way more jobs than he did and he didn't spend as much money. All you have to do is go research. Trump wasn't the best president in the world. But everybody treats him like he's a god. And I'm sorry. He's a he's somebody that was found liable for a sexual civil assault case. And me being a victim myself, I can't support a man like that. And damn right I'm going to speak out with the truth just like I would any other criminal. If you come to my channel and you watch any of my other readings, do I beat around the bush at who I say did what? I, I, it's all alleged, of course. But why is he any different than anybody else? Why can he get away with everything else? And again, I've never cared about politics before. I've never given a crap. I, I mean, I, I didn't care about the election before this. Just because things are going to happen as they're going to happen, period. But... When it comes to having an opinion on something that has to do with truth and justice, and again, someone committing acts like this, there are court cases of 
of young girls that Donald Trump was involved in with the Epstein. Do you think that 26 women lied after how he speaks about women, let's grab him by the P? That shows the kind of person he is. All you have to do is watch his mannerisms. If you know a narcissist, if you've seen been around narcissists in your life, you would know one when you've seen them. They're always about me, me, me. And I'm sorry, we don't need a narcissist running the country. And who bankrupts a casino? That's neither here or there. That's not the main reason why I don't support him. He did it. He had four years to do things and he didn't do. He made broken promises. I was going to post something to show you guys today to kind of educate people about how he said he was going to build this place and, and have all these jobs, even have the golden shovels out. He bulldozed a bunch of uh, houses and he never did it. So people lost their homes for no reason whatsoever. What does that tell you? It tells you about broken promises. How many of the promises did he make in 2016 that he actually delivered on? I mean, the guy doesn't even know that people passed away at the riot, the insurrection riot that he called, caused. And people can say it wasn't an insurrection riot, but it freaking was. Come on, let's be real. Let's be honest here. And I've lost a lot of subs because I made a little video that I thought was hilarious, that other people that know, that have redone their research thought it was hilarious. And again, I don't go for one or another, but it's whoever can get the job done. And he's already proven he can't without putting us in a huge deficit and becoming a criminal. And he's broke. Because of that. So we need the compassion in the world right now, not the hate that he spreads. Open your eyes, people. How can anybody expect me to like a man like that? And you could tell me at all, oh, there's no proof that he was on the Epstein, uh, he's on the Epstein no, blogs. Yes, there is. There's pictures of his name. Seven times. There's receipts of that. Do your research. And this isn't a full political thing. This is because of the way Trump is. If you look at, again, the numbers, you will see he's done nothing for our country that he promised he would do. He, his numbers are not much different than Biden. And just do your research. The numbers speak for themselves. I don't have to go into all that political stuff because this is not about me being political, but showing my true colors because I laugh at a guy that's a sexual assaultist or, or make a funny video about him, whatever, call it, it's, it's next to like a naked rat. Like, that's what he is, he's a rat, I'm sorry, he is. And anybody that doesn't see that, it does not see the truth about someone. I read energy. I can, I can tell if I like somebody, if I don't like somebody. You guys can do that too. But sometimes we put blinders on, you know, sometimes people will, you know, if you walk into a room, oh, I don't like that person. I don't like that person. It's the energy of it. There's usually a reason behind that. But I, what I don't understand is why, why people lose family members, why people lose friends, why people lose subscribers and whatever else over a man like this that doesn't give a crap about you, wants to be a, is a narcissist and was found liable for sexual assault. And you can you can blame the victim all you want because that's what people are doing. By, by supporting a man like this, you're sitting there and saying, we don't believe you. You must have won the lawsuit for no reason. Do you know how hard it is to prove those kind of cases? And how much other evidence there is out there? Look at Stormy Daniels. And how, and how much other hush money do you think is out there? He's a politician. He's a businessman. Well, if you want to even call him that. He, people like this are dirty period a lot of the time. Okay? Because they have money, they can do whatever they want to do with it. You know, a lot of people call out, you know, Diddy and all those other people. Because, you know, when people kind of get into like Hollywood and get or get rich or become businessmen or whatever, they try to get away with a lot of stuff. Just because he's Trump doesn't mean like he's God. He, there's proof that he has done these things. 
All you have to do is look into it. And why, for my opinion, should I be criticized and say, oh, you're showing your true colors. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm a human and I can be angry at the way that people support a man like this. Because, again, I'm about truth and justice. My channel is about justice. I give readings from spirit to catch people like him. Why would anyone on earth ever think I would support a man like him and not speak out about it? And I'm not going to talk a whole much more about this because it's low vibration and your vibe attracts your tribe. So just think about that. You know, we're people are following the low vibration. He's not best for our country. And it's not like, again, he did so much and there's so much difference in him and Biden. And everybody wants to talk about the border, but you know why he blocked the border bill so that he could use it for his political thing. You read 2025, he sits, it's, it, just read that policy. That's all I have to say. And he literally said he wanted to be a dictator. It came out of his mouth. The stuff that he says comes out of his mouth. He's not presidential. He goes and cries on True Social with a hundred memes and posts because he's upset. Is that how we want a president to act? Is that how we want a person to act? Not, let's, let's forget he's running for president. Let's just say that he's a normal person. If he was like you or I, would we be getting away with all of this stuff? Our ass would be in jail. I mean, think about it. Would we be able to do have the ties to Epstein that we have? Um, you know, be, again, found liable for a sexual assault case, have 32 felonies, try to win and like th overthrow an election, plus so many more other crimes that are out there that if people did their research, they would really find, like, if we did that, if he was just a normal person, let's forget he's president or ex-president or whoever. Let's just pretend he's like you or I. Would, would we get away with that? Hell no. And would you guys support a person like that? That's what you have to think about yourself. Are you going to really support a person like that? Yeah. Now, yes, this is his life lessons. This is what he's doing. Yada, yada, yada. But... Why should I be condemned for my opinions over a man that doesn't care about you, over a man? Look how he treats women. Look how he talks about women. Look how he thinks he can get away with everything. He's literally said, with the crimes I've gotten away with. Like, he knows. And it makes me upset because he should have been held accountable a long time ago. But he's protected because of who he is. And people follow him. For whatever reason, I don't understand why people like him. There's no charisma there. I, I, I don't understand the craze and the cultish behavior behind it and the brainwashing. And if you like the guy, guess what? That's your prerogative. But why do I have to like him for you to follow me? Why do we have to have the same beliefs? Isn't being part of the land and the free fucking freedom, excuse me, freedom of speech? Isn't it free to say and like and feel how you want to feel? And like who you want to like and see what you want to see because guess what i see the truth i'm i'm a humanitarian and again it doesn't mean i'm for the other party it's just i'm against him because of who he is as a person and if you really take a deep look and you really do your research and you really take the blinders off you will see it too but never ever ever will i support somebody like that i've made mistakes yes i've, I've made one mistake that i've made a video about that i've spoken about wasn't as big of a deal as this and I'm sorry he's been breaking the law for a very very long time and has never been held accountable but all this isn't going to matter anyways because in my honest opinion and what I felt for the last two years and it's not ego saying this this is something that I was given in auto rights which I'm channeling I'm not trying to get the information him cross out mention of jail, etc. And that to me, and what I've been feeling lately with all the bombshells and twists and turns, we might have someone else. I, I don't know. He's not going to make it to election, in my opinion. If he does, I'll be very, very, very surprised. 
especially with the astrology aspects in his chart and the way that I'm feeling what I'm getting and, and all of that. I could be completely wrong on that. And I'll, you know, I'm, I'm a human. I'm not going to be right all the time. Like just because I'm a psychic medium doesn't mean I know everything. Doesn't mean I'm always going to be right. But I have a pretty high accuracy rate because spirit trusts me. And I think that my followers should trust me too. And I think your vibe attracts your tribe. And I'm sorry, I will not vibe with a lower level person like that. If you guys want to, guess what? I'm not going to fault you for it, but I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about it on my channel. I'm not going to sit here and be just like, well, I have to be careful what I say because if not, people are going to unfollow me or unlike me or whatever. That's not what you're here for. You're here to see what spirit says on cases. You're here because of the accuracy that I've given from spirit. You're here for truth and justice. You're here because you're a humanitarian and you care what spirit says. You're not here because I don't fucking like Trump, Donald Trump because he's a disgusting sexual assaultist. Like, it's the truth. It's not like I'm saying anything that's not true. It was proven in the court of law. And again, if you don't want to believe that, then you're saying that, then this is, that's part of the reason why victims don't speak up. That's part of the reason why I didn't speak up was because I was in the military and guess what I thought? Oh, no one's going to listen to me. No one's going to believe me. So I held it in for 20 years. Well, some people didn't hold it in. And just because of who he is doesn't mean he didn't do it. There's the proof is there and he has his actions, same actions over and over and over. You're telling me he's talking about grabbing women by the P. Okay. First off. Yes, guys will say that, okay? But then he's best friends with Epstein. He lies about being around Prince Andrew. Then he's on the flight logs. Then this this case comes up with her. Then the hush money case. Like, there, there's, there's 26 women. It, it's like, it's a pattern, right? Can we, do, would, would we ignore the patterns in any other case? No. When you look at a criminal on my channel, or you look at somebody that's committed a crime, right? And you say, oh, well... He's done this before. He'll probably do it again. That's a normal person. There's a pattern with criminals. There's a pattern with people like this. How many things and times do they have to do things before you're convinced? Just because it's Donald Trump doesn't make him any better than you or I. And I'm sorry, showing my true colors because I don't support somebody like this. It's showing your true colors if in a way you do. But if you do that you choose to... That's you. You have to live with yourself for supporting a man like that. You have to look in the mirror every day and be happy for your decisions and it's free will and we're allowed to do whatever the hell we want. So that's why I should be able to do whatever I want and not worry about what people think. And I didn't make it political. Like I could have been posting a lot of political posts. I could have been saying a lot of different things. I could have done readings on it like other people did. I don't want to do that because I'm not trying to cause division which he causes because many of it people like they don't they just see what they want to see it's like they pick and choose and they think okay well he did this this and this so that outweighs like all the bad like we still have to have a good person leading our country look at all of our other presidents well most of them we, we can't really count Clinton right but a lot of the other presidents, they acted presidential. They knew how to make a president's speech. They didn't just go up there and ramble and spew misinformation and talk about their crowd size most of the time. The misinformation, it, it really made me upset when he said that no one passed away in the riots and it's no big deal. And he wants to pardon the people that were involved in that, but they were found guilty of it. Like, they chose to do that. They should be held accountable. Just like if we choose to do something, we have to be account held accountable. Why is it that he gets away with all of this stuff? But yet, you expect me to follow and like and respect someone like that. I respect a lot of humanity. I respect people that deserve my respect. But Donald Trump doesn't know me. He doesn't give a crap about me. And guess what? From what I've seen, he doesn't deserve my respect. So I'm not going to respect him. Respect is something that's earned. And I don't know why so many people do respect him. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. It's not like he's some hot guy, like, with all this charisma. Like, I just don't get why people are so blind to the truth about him. And again, I'm an Aquarius. I'm going to speak my truth. That's who I am. Why do you think that, that I was picked to work this kind of work? 
because part of my path, no matter who it is, is to speak the truth on people like this. And again, if you follow me, you follow me for that reason. Why is it any different for a politician? Why is it any different for him than for anybody else? It's not. So this is the last time I'm going to speak on this. And if you want to unfollow me for this, then fucking then, then go right ahead. Because guess what? I don't need that vibe on my channel. Because I'm not judging you for your life choices. You don't need to judge me for mine. This is my platform. And if I feel like I want to say something, I'm going to say it. And many people say, oh, don't talk politics. This isn't even about talking politics. I'm just saying what's already out there and what I've learned and what I've researched and what I found out. And you can go find it too. And again, this is not go vote for Harris, don't vote for Trump, so don't make it about that. You know, I asked people when I said, look, this is just a validation, please don't make it about politics, please don't co please don't start talking about that. In my private, in my group, they start talking about it. So of course, I'm gonna come back and say what I gotta say. If I ask you not to do it and you do it, I'm gonna re rebuttal because Aquarius is we gotta fucking, we gotta say how we feel, period. That's how we are. We, we have to say how we all, how we feel and we have to go against the grain sometimes. And you know what? We get persecuted for that. And that's fine. I've been persecuted a lot in my life for who I am, what I do, etc. But guess what? I do a lot of good work and I do a lot of good things. And I speak for a lot of spirit. And I help a lot of people. And I help a lot of people heal. And you nobody knows all the things that I see in my head and I have to distance myself from it to help those people. And that is part of my path. That is part of who I am. And I cannot sit back and not say something about a criminal or somebody that I see is a horrible person that has gotten away with so much that a normal person wouldn't get away with. with. Why does anybody expect me to respect him, for one, to support him for two, and to not speak my truth on it when this is about truth and justice and this is about, you know, I should be able to use my platform to spread truth. I'm not spreading misinformation. I'm putting the truth out there. And if you want to listen to the truth and see the truth and do your own research to, to follow up on that, don't just listen to what I say. Do your research. Go and find out for yourself. See if you like the guy after you've dug really deep. See if he's presidential enough to lead our country. Look at the numbers. They're not that different. They're, 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 actually, he has a lot, some lower numbers than, you know, when Biden was in. And some of the stuff he blocked. I'm sorry, but I'm all for a woman having the say in their body because I know how soul contracts work. And I believe what I believe in that situation without getting into it. I know that babies choose that with their parents and it's a lesson all around and if they want to come back they can like there is no death so I I look at it from a different standpoint but I don't think the government should ever tell a woman what to do with their body do I regret decisions I've made in the past in regards to that yes but that was my lesson to learn it's not the, up to the government's decision and if you watch 2025 or you read 2025 that's, they're trying to take that away from us. I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. And to block the border bill because you don't agree with everything, because you want to use it in your own campaign, I'm sorry, but what did he do? He said he was going to build a wall and he built not even a, what? I don't even know how long it was, not even a mile and it fell over? Come on, guys. How many broken promises? Not to mention everything that he's done. Like, it's, it's you know, and he's in with all these dictators and stuff. It's just, it's not good for our country. He's not a good person to lead our country. Why does everybody think that he does? If, if, if I had 32 felonies and I was convicted of sexual assault in the civil civil suit and I was on all these Epstein's logs and stuff, like, would, would I be able to run for president? Hell no. I mean, we have a felony, can you even vote? I don't know. But can you even get most jobs? No, let alone a freaking president. So, you know... I, I remade this video twice. I've remade it two different times. You know, so many people told me, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But guess what? I have every right to say what I want to say because I posted a funny video 
people have posted a lot worse um, of him next to a rat, give me a break. Does he deserve my respect? No. Because of the way he treats women and what he's done with women. And you can believe that or not, I don't care. I'm a victim and I'm going to believe the victims. Are the victims that lie sometimes? Yeah. But I don't think that's the case because of the pattern. So, and, and from what I read from his energy and stuff, he's, he's, you can believe what you want to believe. Like I said, free will. But why are people holding it against me? Because I'm about truth and justice, but I refuse to support this type of person. I will never. And I've lost friends over it. And that's, that's their loss. That's not mine because I know who I am in my heart and I know I'm a good person and I know that I, I fight for the victims in any way that I can and I know what I've been through in my life and I cannot support a person that goes against everything I stand for and everything this channel stands for and if you don't understand that then I don't know what to say to you you need to really take a look and see why you support somebody like this and why you're willing to condemn me for not so now that I've got my heart rate up and I and I'm here and, and you guys can tell that I've been mad and then most people say oh why do you even care why are you even saying this just let me say it let me speak my truth that's a big part of who I am if you're on this channel you would know that like I speak my truth and say what I want to say because that's who I am that's 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 how I am and I will always be that way and you know, if, if people don't like that about me, I, I don't know what to say. I can't change who I am. But that's a big part of why Spirit chose me to do what I do. You guys have seen how my gifts work. Do you really think that God or Spirit would choose to work through me or give me my gifts or have me do this kind of work if they didn't trust me? And I think if they trust me, I think I've earned a lot of trust and I think I've earned a lot of respect and I think I've grown a good community, a good community here. And if people want to start unfollowing because I refuse to support a criminal and I speak the truth about it, then I don't know what to say. It's not even that much about being political because I, like, I haven't given a crap about politics in years, but it's really important right now. Even though I feel he's never going to make it to the election, that's not my point. My point is I want you to see the guy for who he is. I want you to open your eyes. I want you to learn how to see things for what they are and not follow everybody else and not like somebody just because they're famous or they were president or I don't even know why people like him like I didn't even like him in The Apprentice like I don't I don't get it I don't get it like he's not hot he doesn't have charisma like I don't understand he's 78 can we just say that we didn't need an old president I mean I just think we need more compassion love and freedom in the world just do your research. Just do your research. Don't unfriend people. Don't unfollow people. Don't kick people out of your life because they, they feel a certain way about someone and you don't. This is why everybody says don't talk about what? Religion, politics, and something else. Um, because people that don't agree with you, you know, it turns into an argument. It shouldn't be like that. We should each have our own opinions. And then again, it's not even political. It's the truth about the guy. Like, look at this as me saying... I'm telling you about this as a, as a perpetrator on any case. Same thing. I'm going to tell you the truth about any perpetrator on any case. And what I feel, what I found out, and what I know. It's no different to me. I don't care who he is. It's, it's absolutely, there's no difference. And me telling you something about this guy and me telling you about something about somebody else that committed things. Because that's what this channel is about. That's what I'm about. That's literally what I'm about. Humanity and justice. Aquarius and Libra. Humanity and justice. It's literally who I am. And my vibration is, you have to have a high vibration to communicate with spirit. My vibration is too high to one, deal with people that even care about this guy when he doesn't care about you. He cares about himself and his crowd size and everything else. He doesn't care about the country. He just cares about winning. He's a narcissist. Sorry, but everybody can see that. I, I think that there's been psychologists that have even said that, that have watched him. And if you've had narcissists in your life, you would know that. And it makes no sense why we would want somebody like that to run the country, let alone 
I just don't understand why he can get away with so much and everybody still supports him. I mean, if that was anybody else, everybody would be like, put him in jail, lock him up. If there's anybody in, our, in any of these cases on the channel, how would you guys feel? You have to think of it that way. He's just a normal person. He's not anybody special. And why should he get to be... Why should he get to get away with and, and have people support what he does after after what he's done? Like, he knows what he's done. And there's going to be a lot of bombshells come out with in regards to everything. Like, this is going to be, again, twists and turns, bombshells and stuff. And if he goes to court or if anything happens to him, I feel like there's going to be a lot of skeletons that come out of the closet. And even more. And I don't even know if people are even going to care then. But the biggest part of why I posted this is what this channel is about. It's not really about how I feel about Trump or whatever, but I should be able to have those opinions without people in subbing, period. Like, I don't know why anybody would even expect me to like him. And again, I should be able, I, I didn't want to speak on this. I didn't want to, but I'm, you know, I'm losing subs and people are saying stupid shiz on the, on the video that me and Lizzie decided would be funny to post. And for what? For what? Does he care about you? Does he, what does he do that makes your life so much better? What has he done that makes your life so much better? Like, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. I'm a good human. I do good things. And people would rather follow someone who does what he does. I've already been over what he does. I'm not going to keep saying it. So, I I think people need to really look within themselves and there's a lot of programming that went on and and a lot of a lot of people need to be deprogrammed i don't know if anybody knows what programming is but it's a real thing and people that are not everybody's able to be programmed if you have a strong mind and you um you don't, you don't follow the crowd you think for yourself and you see things for what they are that's a that's what we need to be doing is seeing things for them in look at it like who do we want to be speaking for us to different leaders to different countries to the world that's what we have to look at who, it, again I don't think he's gonna make it to election but my point is I don't know why people are <laughs> like he I don't know he just he, he doesn't deserve my respect yes he's a human he's made mistakes whatever he continues to make them he doesn't try to be a better person he just throws fits all the time. He's never admitted he's been wrong about anything. So it would be different if he admitted he was wrong and if he tried to be a better person and if all of that. Like, if he talked to women better, you know, I might I might feel a little different, but he's never going to do that because his narcissism would amount to. So he's like that controlling husband. <laughs> I don't know, Spirit just kind of gave me that, uh, not to compare it to. But I think I've rambled enough, and if you decide to unfollow me after this, go right ahead. I don't, I don't care. Because, again, this channel is about truth and justice, and it's the last thing I'm going to say on this, and it's not political. I'm speaking my truth, and I'm speaking up, and I don't understand how other people can speak their truth and get more followers, but I speak my truth, I get less followers. Like, it makes no sense to me, but I will always speak my truth. You know, I, my channel was small at one time. If it's small again, it, it doesn't matter. I have to say what I feel I need to say and what I feel guided to say. And I can only let my mind, like, deal with so much. And if you don't want to watch this video to this far, then don't. If you love Trump and you refuse to hear the truth about him, then don't watch it. We can agree to disagree. I'm not going to fault you for it. That's not who I am. I just say, you know, people can be blind if they want to be. They can follow who they want to be. That's not, they can like who they want to like. That's not for me. I just know that, that I'm not going to follow a low vibration person and I'm not going to be in a low vibration state over it. And, it, you know, I hope that one day people see the truth and I hope one day that they realize, you know, that this they're, they're supporting someone that doesn't care anything about them. They're supporting someone that... Um, 
know, doesn't really deserve the support in that way. And, and no, I would never wish harm on anybody. That's that's not whenever I'm saying certain things, that's not what that means. I don't wish harm on him or anything else. I just don't like him and I, I don't choose to support him. Does that mean I, I sincerely support the other side? Not necessarily. Um, I think politics are politics. Government is government. Like, I, there, you know, there's always going to be problems. There's always going to be good and bad. It's not, you're not going to have one that's always good all the time. That's just, you know, sometimes politics and government is like that. But does that mean that the other side has all these scandals and, and stuff? I mean, not that I've heard. I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, I don't support her, she's fake, but they can't tell me, like, the reasoning why. Like, I don't know. I just know, like, I always tell people, like, just do your research. Like, I'm not here to sway you one way or the other, so please don't take it as that. And I know many people will try to twist this video and what whatever, like, they do. They always try to twist my words, and then they come in the comments because they don't listen to the video the whole way or whatever. Like, don't, tw don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to get you to or for, I'm not trying to get you against Trump or for anybody else. I'm not trying that. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm speaking my truth, why I don't support him, why I say certain things or do certain things, and that's it. You know, the rest up to you. But this channel and what I'm about is truth and justice, and I, I can't support somebody. And I'm a victim of of what he's done to other women. I'm not going to do I I can't do it, and I don't know why other women would. We're supposed to be in this together as women. We're supposed to stand solid and to sit there and say that all these women are lying is is preposterous because of he's like he's not a god or anything like he's not incapable so you know you if you were to look at a normal person and see the pattern would you say they were innocent probably not and that's how i feel about it i'm gonna support the women probably every time over a man that has proven himself to be capable something like that so and again hopefully you can respect my opinion I respect yours and this is not a against Trump against Trump campaign this is not to fault you if you care about the guy or follow the guy or want the guy for president whatever like I said I don't think he's gonna make it to election anyways but that's not I'm not gonna fault you for that so don't fault me for that period understand what I'm about and understand what this channel is about and understand that my ethics and what I do cannot support somebody like that. I have ethics in what I do. I have ethics and and I always am respectful of spirit. I'm always respectful to my clients and I have ethics in what I do. I cannot support someone without those ethics. I, ethically, I cannot support somebody like this and run a channel about truth and justice. Period. So, I love you all. I thank you all for being here, the ones that do support me and everything. And again, I don't fault you if you have other opinions. It is what it is. But um, I just had to speak my truth and say my truth and say how I felt because I think people misunderstand, you know, when I post things or say things. It's not to be political. I'm trying to get people to open their eyes. I'm trying to get people to see the truth. I'm trying to get people to see things another way. You know, not necessarily my way, just see the truth. Just see the truth. That's all I want people to do. Just like I would with any case, I want them to see the truth. So, all right. I think I'm done rambling. I'm enough, I've spent enough time in this energy and it's ridiculous. And now that I've said this, I'm gonna move on from it because I'm not gonna post anything else or whatnot. If I feel like I need to share something, I might share it. Another psychic said some stuff I thought was interesting. I sent it to the community page. If you don't like it, don't read it. It's from another psychic and what they're saying. And again, if you don't like it, don't read it. So, or don't watch it. Whatever. No one's forcing you to watch things and read things that I post. But, again, I see the truth and I see the way things are. And I've done my research and that's how I feel. And, again, ethically I can't support a person like that. So please don't expect me to. Please respect the way that I feel about him and the way that I would I would feel about any criminal or anybody that did anything like this. And we don't have to say completely allegedly because I mean he was found liable. So just say. Alright. Until next time, be safe out there. Love one another.
don't let this come in between your relationships because it's not worth it. This person that doesn't know you, that doesn't care about you, that doesn't, does, that you don't know personally, you know, you can't really defend him because you don't know him personally. You don't know everything he's done in his life. You don't know what he's capable of, all of that. And you don't know what's in his mind and in his heart. So don't lose people and don't put a barrier between people because guess what? This life is, is lifetimes can be very short in this lifetime. We have other lifetimes, but this life can be very short. People like this and people that you don't know personally, it's not worth it. It's not worth to lose good friends. It's not worth to lose good people. Of course, again, your vibe attracts your tribe. So I guess we're going to lose who we're meant to lose, but I'm just saying, don't let it over be something that's stupid. Like, don't unfollow and not see the truth of spirit because I don't I don't approve of Trump and what he's done. Like, don't let that change your opinion of me because I should I should be able to have my opinions. And don't let that change the reason why you follow a channel. You follow a channel for truth and justice, and that's in all cases. I, I would hope so. And because I've proven myself as as trustworthy, I would hope so. So gonna add this part in here really quick i just heard i wonder how his victims feel with him being put on a pedestal so let's stop and think about that for a minute and i'm not just talking about sexual assault victims i'm talking about all the victims of the people he screwed if you really dig deep it's really kind of sad huh but we never know what someone is capable of and that's what i want people to keep in mind sit there and make excuses for him you know, he needs to be held accountable at some point. We all would be. So, and this is not me judging um, in that way. That's, the, you know, that's his life choices, his life path. He'll have to deal with that with his life, uh, life of you on the other side. But I just heard that, so I wanted to add it in. How is he going to save the country or anybody else when he can't even save himself? So, keep an eye out because he's got court coming up. But for real, going to leave it there now. Okay, for now, I'm, I'm really done.